Welcome back to Motoring Box, I'm Sean McKellar and I'm inside my BA Falcon XR6 Turbo which if you've been following my channel I've done a mini sort of a build series on. In one of the previous episodes you'll know that I installed a Haltech Pro Plug-in ECU and today we're actually finding out how the car runs on a base tune. Now technically this base tune has been modified because I have installed bigger fuel injectors so I had to change the parameters in the ECU of that base tune and we also added a wideband O2 sensor so I changed those settings as well but otherwise this is all exactly as Haltech set it up in the base tune. So we'll start the car up. And I have actually got my laptop here on the passenger seat. Hello DD Pi, that's my new dash cam. If you wanna check out the video on that, <laughs> go up here in the top corner and have a look. But yes, getting back to the task at hand, I do have my laptop connected to the ECU down here on the passenger seat. And it's really interesting on the drive over here, you can have a look at this uh, long-term fuel trim table. And you can see that the ECU is actually adjusting the fueling figures on the fly to hit that perfect 14.7 is to 1 air fuel ratio. So you can see here the load and also the RPM ranges that I hit driving over here. It started adjusting some of those parameters. And I did notice that the car started running better and better. When I first set off on any sort of throttle opening at all, going from idle to putting a bit of throttle, this car would really hesitate and bog down. But now that's gone away. It's completely eradicated. And Generally, as I'm driving, it's getting smoother and smoother because that Pro Plug-in Haltech ECU is learning everything as I go. This is one of the first big drives. Actually, it's the only drive I've had since I've installed it. The rest of it's just been basically idling in the garage. So I'll leave this laptop here recording its screen so we can see what's happening, but we'll set off. See, it's nice and smooth. I just took off with really low revs in. That wasn't the ECU's fault, that was mine. But it's amazing, the air conditioning works, the cruise control still works and arms as usual. And I reckon after a while when this ECU gets up to speed, you're not even gonna know that it's got an aftermarket ECU in it. Everything else seems to feel like factory. Now I am going to keep it off boost because I don't really know how the base tune has been set up for that. But uh, I'm basically giving it a bit of throttle and you can see the needle creeping up to around zero PSI. I'm not going to take it any further just because the car hasn't been tuned. I don't know. There's an AU Falcon over there. Has that been dumped? Poor old AU. Sorry, I'm just going to deviate for a second. We're out here in the Badlands, so it wouldn't really surprise me if there was an old AU dumped out there. Look at that. Yeah, she's had a, a hard life. I don't really want to go check it out because it kind of creeps me out a little bit. Might come back and there'll be some dudes surrounding my car or something. <laughs> I don't want my car to end up like that. Oh, poor old thing. Anyway, it's my civic duty done. Back to the test. So as you can see, as you can hear, the car is running great. That was up to around zero pounds again. But I mean, doesn't it just blow your mind how far technology has come where you can plug in an aftermarket ECU into your car, into your Falcon from BA to FGX and everything basically is just going to work. I could quite happily drive this car to and from work or putt around in it so long as you didn't really give it too much of a hard time and it's going to run perfectly fine which just as I mentioned it just blows my mind. <laughs> so we hit about 80 k's just then we'll take it out on the highway and have a run as well but it's running beautifully. You can hear it perfectly smooth. So that is pretty amazing to me. So we've pretty much reached the end of this build. There are a few extra little maintenance jobs that need to be done. And of course I need to save up my money to get the car tuned as well. But, uh, Look, it's great to know that I can use this car anytime I want to. Next up, we're gonna to need to replace the center bearing. When I get it out onto the highway, I'll probably be able to feel that thrum because that center bearing is sort of flogging out a little bit. But otherwise, look, this car is driving amazing. The turbo even sounded a little bit different when it was spooling up as well. I don't know whether it's sort of coming on song a little bit earlier. I guess it depends how that bass tune has been set up versus how that piggyback ECU I previously had fitted. Uh, had been arranged. Yeah, it's interesting, and it's going to be even more interesting after I get the car dyno tuned just to see how it behaves versus what I've been used to. I was actually quite nervous driving this thing out today 
I was worried as soon as I got to the first hill and I had to put any load on it that it was just going to stall or something and then I'd get stuck. I wouldn't be able to get up the hill and I'd have to reverse down or, or do something like that. But it's, it's fantastic. So Haltech have really nailed their base tune. This engine for the most part is fairly stock standard, apart from the larger injectors which I installed. But I've put all that data into the ECU. The ECU knows what's going on now. It's able to adjust its fueling to suit. And it's still adjusting everything you can see on the laptop there as well. Sounds good doing it too. Alright guys, let's wrap this thing up. This car is running beautifully. I don't know what I was worried about. I should have trusted the guys from Haltech because the product they've built for these, the ECUs that they build here in Australia are just incredible and I think they are starting to take off in America these days as well, in Europe. And I can see why, because it truly is a world-class product. See if we can get this thing wrapped up before 2021's over, but uh, we'll see how we go. No promises, but I'll try my best. So thank you very much for watching guys, have a good one, I'll see you next time.